if you look at satellite shots of the desert, some rocks totally line up. Whatever. It is as good as it gets. Yeah. What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping in to this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music vidiot. And in this video, I'm going to be going over some anomalies that happened to me within GTA 5. Some crazy situations or events that really don't make sense. And some of the stuff I just have a lot of questions on. Maybe you guys know the answer. That's why I'm bringing it to your attention work together as a team and maybe we can figure out some of this crazy ass stuff. I'm going to start off by showing you guys something I realized the other day. I was in first person mode and I was aiming at the stars. I wasn't even using a sniper rifle. I was just aiming at the stars with a regular old gun and they started to grow brighter, increasingly brighter. I've never seen the stars illuminate like that before. So I started to really question, is there something out there that we're supposed to be seeing? Is there more to the stars? Is there maybe some kind of a constellation we can find? You know, I did some other tests. I aimed at the city down below. I aimed at other lights and nothing really seemed to illuminate like the stars did when I aimed at them. This is something I've never realized. Maybe you guys uh, found something and you could let me know in the comments or if you guys want to try some tests out, definitely let me know. I have tried it in third person mode and it did seem to, you know, do the same effect, but nothing was as great as when I did it in first person mode. You know, this game does, you know, stress perspective a lot, so maybe we are supposed to be using our different perspectives for some sort of tool to find some extra clues. And since we're on the subject of perspective, I want to show you guys something Delta brought to my attention. On this loading screen art, it says another perspective challenge. In the background, you see the blueprint map with the two circles. Number one, it looks like, and then number two. Now, one's at Fort Zancudo, and the other one's in kind of like the Tongva Hills. But there is no heist setups in those spots. That is something very suspicious. It doesn't make sense, and maybe Rockstar wanted us to perceive that with our perspective while looking at that loading screen art. You know, looking at the suns, I showed you guys in other videos and broadcasts, the suns are different for all three characters, okay? Why the hell is there different suns for the animals? Maybe there's certain peyote plants that certain characters should be going after. You know, I'm not saying this is going to solve anything, but it might lead to further clues. You know, the dialogues are different. Maybe there's certain dialogues we're supposed to hear that will give us a better idea or understanding of where to go next. This situation right here really boggles my mind. I mean, it puzzles me to hell, and I cannot wrap my mind around it. I've never had this happen to me ever in the game. So if you guys have any sort of answers or comments on this, please let me know. I called the blimp. I was Franklin. When I got off the phone, there was a meter or a bar that appeared in the top right of my screen. I've never seen that before. I mean, I have just, I've never experienced this before ever. Maybe you guys know what this is or have seen it before. I just, I just haven't and this is boggling me, okay? Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's glitching into some other part of the game, but the more I think about it, there is no part of the game that I've ever recalled seeing a meter or a bar up there. So this is just seriously puzzling the shit out of me. This is an anomaly that I cannot explain. I tried switching to Michael. I called the blimp nothing. I tried switching to Trevor and calling the blimp and nothing. The only time it works is when I'm Franklin and it doesn't even work every time that I'm Franklin, only sometimes. So let me know guys if you have any sort of answers to that at all. I know most of us probably know about this and have encountered Ron uh, being paranoid listening in with his walkie talkie trying to see who's spying on him, but I just have to wonder and throw it out there, you know, how well have we investigated this? 
Have we really sat down and listened to all the different frequencies that he, you know, is tuning into? Um, you know, there's a lot of frequencies that we experience with Trevor and his truck. It's just something to keep in mind. I want to focus on this part of the map for a couple minutes. This right here is the Elysian Island Bridge. Now, the Collector's Edition map, the Blueprint map, has a uh, bridge that will show up here with the UV light. Okay, when you shine the light on the Blueprint map, the bridge will actually show up. Now, a lot of people say that's because there's a gun that you can find on top of the bridge. It might be like a rocket launcher or something, but I'm willing to bet that there's more to it than just the gun. Okay, Rockstar is very clever and they do things in clever ways. I investigated this area and I found, first of all, these tanks. And one says U-92B. We know that is uranium. I showed this billboard before. You know, it's very clear that U-92 is uranium. Why is there uranium at this part of the map near the airport? Right by the Elysian Island Bridge. Okay, something to really question and wonder. Now, there's also a couple other tanks right next to this. Okay, the other one says 108. Okay, the 108 is really what caught my eye because we know that there's a R-108 over at this airstrip and we all know that this has been decoded as jetpack confirmed. Okay, so this is something to keep in mind, okay? They're placing things in very specific spots and it's very suspicious. The reasoning behind it is unknown and I would like to do more investigations. This area is also a little bit more relevant than just having these tanks, okay? This area is actually found in L.A. Noir. Now, in Greek mythology, the Elysian Fields were the section of the underworld in which the heroic dead would reside, and the Elysian Fields Freeway is referenced to the Elysian Fields Development Company, which is featured in L.A. Noir. So that's something to keep in mind also, guys. It doesn't stop there, guys. There's more. There's more. Franklin's neck tattoo, joining hands and the cross along with it, was first seen in L.A. Noir, and it's a necklace of the murder victim in the homicide case, the, still, the Silk Stocking Murder. You come across it as a clue in a grocery store named Just Picked Fruits. We were just talking about this tattoo in a previous video, guys. This is all connected, and there's definitely some strange stuff going on here. Okay, if you take a look at the area in a little bit more detail, you'll notice another thing. Okay, look at the street name, the bottom left, okay? It is called Chupacabra. Now, is that a coincidence that in this high level of question and interest, there's a street called Chupacabra? Before when I was showing you guys those two heist locations that didn't exist, that Delta pointed out to me, I noticed how one of them were in the Tongva Hills. Well. The Tongva Triangle is another area in this game that most people don't even realize is a huge area for paranormal activity, okay? This is a crazy-ass place, guys, and I don't think we're doing enough investigating in this area at all. One of the um, creatures or paranormal things that happen in this area is the witnessing of a creature called the Chupacabra. Okay, that's just one connection I'm going to make, but there's a hell of a lot more, and I'm going to go more into the research. Now, it just so happens that there were a group of Indians called the Tongva Indians, and they actually were in the same area as the Tongva Hills are in this game, and they reported to see jellyfish-type creatures flying around. These are some images that I took off the website, and these images are proclaimed to be actual paranormal sightings by real people. Now, is it a coincidence that people in the game claimed to have found jellyfish type, you know, beasts or, you know, images or paranormal, like, sightings in the sky? That's a little bit of a coincidence, guys, and I looked at the dates, and people that said that in the game, um, it happened before that people saw them in real life. So, that's a little bit strange to me. Here I am doing my own investigation in the Tongva Hills, and something crazy happened to me. I was Trevor and I noticed that two wolves came up to me, one by one. One came on one side and then the other a couple seconds later came on the other side. And they both started howling at the moon or whatever, but they just both started howling. And they did not care that Trevor was standing right there. 
Now, normally, the wildlife in this game does not want to come near me. They don't approach me. As soon as I walk near them, they run away. So this was very strange, and it just so happens it happened in the Tongva Hills area. Now, I tried it, uh, you know, different ways. I tried loading up a new game file, uh, trying it during the day, tried it during the night, and no matter what, they were still attracted to Trevor for some crazy ass reason. Now we know that Trevor uh, in the in the trailers has howled at like the moon and he has said to Michael or whoever about the medication he has, you know, makes him howl and stuff. So you never know if there's a connection to woes with Trevor or if this is just part of the paranormal experience that happens at the Tongva Hills. All I know is that there's a lot of reports, especially if you go to that Wikipedia page, there's a big triangle that outlines the Tongva Hills. Like, it's like the Bermuda Triangle of Grand Theft Auto V. It's pretty fucking nuts. And Rockstar gives us what we want, guys. They do. They have said it time and time again that they see what we like, they see what we do, and then they try to make content that matches what we already like. And they have seen in our past endeavors in the other GTA games that we like mysteries, that we hunt for Bigfoot, that we hunt for all this crazy shit. So why wouldn't they make something um, in Grand Theft Auto V that gave us what we wanted, gave us more mysteries. We're f so focused on the Chilean mystery, most of us probably don't even know about these Tongva Hills, this Bermuda Triangle of GTA V, if you will. Um, I'm going to start doing my own investigations more and more. I mean, the first night or first day that I came here, I already had wolves coming up to me, so what else is there to experience? Stay tuned for some episodes, guys, that I'm going to come out with that's going to kind of dig into more of the Tongva Hills mysteries. I want to go ahead and show you guys something that I took from somebody else's YouTube channel. I'm going to show their information right here because this is all their credit. This is all them and their video. But it's something that was too much of an anomaly for me not to show you guys. Um, I've never seen it. Maybe you guys already have. If you already have, just uh, at least keep it in the back of your mind that this has happened. And I'm not too sure if we have any answers for some of this. Listen closely, guys, to this shit. That's about all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for jumping in. Let me know in the comments what you think of any of the stuff that I showed off today. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. Definitely look in the description, guys, because all of my contact information is on there. I have my own community for the PlayStation 4. I have, uh, you know, different social media networks that I'm tied to. So definitely look for different ways to hook up with me some more so you don't miss out on any more future content. Definitely look out for me on Twitch. I broadcast pretty much daily. That's twitch.tv slash musicvidiot. Thank you again for joining me. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I'll see you guys in the next video or broadcast. Until next time, ta-ta, and as always, peace! Yeah.